everyone, this is Helena Krauss and welcome to another Hero Arts card video. Today we are making Mother's Day card with absolutely no stamping. So let's get started. For today's video, we gonna for today's card, we're gonna use the Earth Save glitter or the stand glitter, the Mother's Day window die and the Daisy Mosaic stencil. We're gonna use the Daisy Mosaic stencil for our background and we are gonna do some dry embossing using the stencil. Before I run it through my die cutting machine, uh, I will use a uh, spray, like to spritz that um, background with water. And that helps for the impression to be uh, to show up much better. So after I sprayed it with water, I run it through my die cutting machine, and it's all done. I'm setting it aside to dry while we work on our die cut. So I have a piece of Dove white cardstock. I'm covering it with. Uh, double-sided adhesive. This is adhesive sheet. Uh, you can use also liquid glue, but when I'm working with glitter, we're gonna glitter this one. So when I'm working with glitter, I prefer using double-sided tape. So I die cut that once uh, using the adhesive on tops on the top side of the cardstock. And then I did three more die cuts, just plain cardstock, and we're gonna use that for stacking to get more kind of dimensional and more sturdy uh, die cut. So I'm removing the excess here. Okay, I'm just, uh, I apologize for my head being in the way here. I'm just trying to remove all the little pieces from um, that uh, the die cut. Okay. Now we're not going to use the frame, we're just going to trim the mother, Happy Mother's Day words out of this uh, die cut. So, you can see here I'm performing surgery of the die cut. And um, I'm trying to uh, round up the edges with my scissors. Kind of clean it up around the edges so it looks nice uh, as a standalone. So now I'm uh, using my bone folder to um, burnish that to make that adhesive, uh, make sure that adhesive is nice and secure in that die cut. I'm removing the backing. It's very sticky. Okay, now I will just pour the glitter on top. And then I'm going with a piece of cardstock and kind of pressing that glitter into the adhesive. This is one of the backing sheets from um, the adhesive, so it kind of the glitter stuck to it. I'm going again, I pulled that out from the die cut from the pile of glitter and I pressed it one more time to make sure that all the glitter uh, can, that can be will get nicely stuck to that adhesive. Now I'm using a Swiffer cloth to kind of remove the excess glitter that um, was left over. So I'll repeat the same process on the other die cut that uh, says Happy Mothers. I just uh, saved that leftover glitter from the first die cut in a little uh, glass container, like glass ball, and I poured the same glitter on top of the this die cut too. And I'm repeating the same process kind of burnish that on top to make sure that all glitter that can be uh, it's nice and secure um, kind of stuck to the, that die cut and now uh, removing the excess with a Swiffer cloth. Okay so now I have all the die cuts. I have three uh, from just plain white Dove white cardstock and what I'll do is I will adhere all those together to create more dimensional and more sturdy uh, look. So I'll adhere all three together and then on top I will adhere the glitter glitter one and I'll repeat the same thing with the Happy Mothers part. So we have three die cuts here. I'm just pressing it out to make sure that it's nice and secure and flat. I'm adding more um, liquid adhesive. I'm using the Here Arts Precision Glue Pen. Okay, 
So now I'll just put acrylic block that I had sitting at my desk to make sure that that's a dry is nice and flat. And I'm repeating, as I said, the same thing with uh, the second part of that die cut. Okay, now we're doing the last layer. And again, I will once uh, making sure that they're all nice and lined up. And I will put it um, under the same acrylic, like I press it down with the acrylic block. And then I will let it dry. While that dries, uh, we are going to do some ink blinding on the background. I trimmed down my background to a uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm using Creamsicle, Fruit Punch, Taffy, and Berry Smoothie Reactive Inks. So I started with the Creamsicle and I'm moving towards the darker. So the Creamsicle is going to be on the bottom of our card. And then the Berry Smoothie will be on top. So first I went light, light handed, not light headed, light handed. And then I applied more ink to get more saturated look. Now I'm going with that taffy and um, I'll switch with uh, to berry smoothie for the top. And I'll make sure that they are nice and blended. Um, the colors have nice transition from one to the next one. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. I will position the stencil again, um, making sure that it's in the same position and it's pretty easy because we already have that dry embossed look. So I, instead of on the bottom, I secure that one on top, so I'll remove that tape and I apply the adhesive, the tape on the back of my panel and I'm adding the stencil on top and I will put a baby wipe you can use also wet paper towel and I'll run through my die cutting machine one one more time so you can see that baby wipe on the left has some ink on it so because we used reactive ink we're gonna do we we're getting more textured look so where the baby wipe touch that background we're gonna have a lighter color it's not like white white but it just gives nice um, contrast very subtle contrast. So I'm uh, trying to dry that out because uh, the background is way, uh, wet from the baby wipe. We're going to trim it down to four by five and a quarter. And then we're going to have left just to assemble our card. Okay, I think that looks uh, nice. So now in the back, I have a um, stack of three pieces of scrap cardstock that I will use for dimension. And this will help also hold that background nice and flat. You can use either foam, foam tape for dimension or craft foam, but I prefer using layers of scrap cardstock. And also it helps the card hold up better through the mail. Okay, I put that acrylic block on top to make sure that that background um, stays nice and flat because as you remember, that was wet from the baby wipe that we ran it through the die cutting machine. So that has already dried. I'm adding it to a top folding dove white note, note card. And we just have left to adhere the die cuts that say Happy Mother's Day. I'm trying to decide how I want them positioned. So I think I'm good uh, here and I'm just adding more the Hero Arts Precision Glue on the back of our die cuts and adhering it to our background again. As soon as I adhere it, I put it down, I'm adding something heavy, in this case um, acrylic block on top to make sure that dries nice and flat and it stays there because we have texture on our background. So it's very important to have something heavy uh, to make sure that that's adhered nicely. So here's the closer look of the card. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Please give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Also uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel 
and visit her blog for more ideas and more inspiration. Thanks for watching. Bye!